We'll go backstage with Eddie and the Tide up next on San Francisco Hot Rock. We're backstage at the Keystone Palo Alto with Eddie and the Tide as they get ready for the show. Eddie, as we get things started, why don't you introduce the entire crew for our home audience? Okay, Steve, I'm having some trouble remembering these guys. I've only been with them five years. <laughs> Okay, okay, let me start here. On my right, from Nashville, my buddy from high school, we came out here together to California, Scott Mason on drums. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then, uh, what's the guy, what's he, help me out? The bomber, the George, the bomber. Or bummer, what was that? <laughs> it was a bomber, yeah, it was a bomber. And then, from Oregon. Oh! Hey, take it down. Black Bart. Kaz McCaslin on keyboard, and then from the jungles of New York, Johnny Bronx, Johnny Perry on lead guitar. Last year you had an EP out called Maybe I'll Get Lucky, and it was pretty lucky. You guys got some airplay at local radio stations. What I want to know is how does a band without a national recording contract end up with an award-winning video? Uh, Aiola. <laughs> uh, how do we end up? We we. Uh, our manager, Lee Housekeeper, came up with the idea of the uh, ice guitars, the working in the ice house, and Running Wild, Running Free is a video about just breaking out of your job. And I just think the, the idea of the video, along with the ice guitars and the visuals, uh, you know, gave us a different, appeal. different concept. Not yeah, like had, had, had a lot of appeal. In the hot summer sun
Eddie and the Tide, running wild, running free. If you don't mind me asking, Eddie, if it's not too personal, I'm kind of curious, how much did it really cost to make that video? It was about 1700 yeah, we had a, thankfully we had a, a TV station up in Sacramento help us. That's why we kept it down. How do you cut corners to do a video for 1500 bucks? Don't eat. <laughs> right, no, we, no, none of us ate, none of us got paid, you know, no, no union fees on that one. <laughs> Total oh, free. now you tell me. <laughs> to make it big in the music business today, you really have to do a lot of touring and get your name out. What is the strangest experience that the group has ever had on the road? Uh-oh. Uh, one night I remember opening up for uh, Lady Mud Wrestlers. And, uh, <laughs> or no, we closed. No, we well, headlined, actually. Yeah, we they headlined. Opened they us. opened for us. I'm sorry. The crowd and, dissipated after that. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was all, all horny, <laughs> horny men, you know, and we come on and we play our rock and roll and there's mud dripping off the uh, ceiling yeah. onto our, you know, instruments. Well, you're going to be in town for a while because in about two or three weeks is the Bay Area Music Awards and Eddie and the Tide are nominated for Best Independent EP and Single, right? Oh, same category. Same category. Yeah, what right. would winning a Bammy this year do for Eddie in the Tide? Well, I think it would uh, show some record companies that we're, you know, what we're doing up here. And I think they'd start, you know, maybe taking us a little more serious. We'll find out tonight because you guys got to get dressed and get ready to go on stage. All right. Good luck at the Bammy Awards. <laughs> I want to remind those of you at home that we will see you at the Bammies. We'll cover it live on March 2nd right here on San Francisco Hot Rock. Let's get out into the audience for Eddie in the Tide. Right on. Former lead singer of LTD, Jeffrey Osborne, steps out next as San Francisco Hot Rock continues.